and we're so grateful to be here today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We're here today, amen, to celebrate Jesus' birth. Merry Christmas to everyone, and we pray God's blessings upon you. Amen. And we just come today to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We welcome you to the Straightway Church of Christ, written in heaven, of Belle Glade, Florida, where the pastor is Apostle Pauline Johnson. We thank you for sharing with us. Please send your prayer requests in. And again, Merry Christmas. And may the blessings of God flow all over the land. Amen. We thank God for his goodness today. And we just wanted to come in and let you know we love you. And again, Merry Christmas. I come to glorify the Lord. I come to glorify the Lord. I come to glorify the name of the Lord. I come to
gracious heaven Bless above. Thank thank you. Yes, thank we you, come Lord. before you, God, as humble as we know how. Yes, Lord. yes. Father God, we thank you for life, health, thank and strength. You, yes, Lord. Yes. Father, we thank you for being a Lord keeper of the way. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you thank that you, we were allowed to share your day, God. Yes, yes. Thank you that we're all gathered here, God, and you help us all one more time, God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Father God, we ask you, God, to watch over us, God. We ask you to touch us, God. We ask you to come in and bless this service, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. God, you know what everyone stands in need of, God. We ask you, God, to touch everyone in the name of Jesus. On its section of the light, Lord. Lord we ask you, God, God, to just have your way, Lord. Have we your way, God. forgiveness of our sins, iniquities, and transgressions. Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God. Father, we ask you, God, to strengthen us where we're weak at. Build us up where we're down, Lord. Glory Father, to God. Father, we ask you just to have your way in our lives, God. Lord through Jesus. our lives, God. Lord Jesus. Father, we ask you to do something new, Glory God. Glory to God. Just have yes. your way, Lord. Have Lord. your way, God. Have Father, your way. God, we just thank you, God. Thank, thank you, God, for the gathering of your people, Lord. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Father, yes. we just ask you, God, to just have your way, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, you, God, to heal someone, deliver someone, Jeez. set someone free, Lord. Yes. Father, we just praise you, God, and we just give you all the honor and all the glory, Lord. Yes. In son, Jesus' name, amen. 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 I got a mind to keep, keep on, on running. Keep on running. Keep on running. I got a mind to keep on running. Running up the king's highway. You may have asked for added strength, 
your courage to renew. Don't be discouraged, for I bring hope to you. It is no secret what God can do, what He done for
day because you cared for me in such a special way that's why I praise you I lift you up and I magnify your name that's why
today. Amen. And we're so glad all of you felt it not Robert to come out and share with us. Amen. And right now, amen, we just thank God we're going into the Word. Amen. And we bring on a young man today, amen, that God is bringing up. Amen. One that loved the Lord. Amen. One that lived right. Amen. Live what he teach. Amen. amen. And we're so grateful Amen. And we are honored, amen, to have him to bring the word of God today. Amen. amen. We, we don't try to pump people up and put them up. If you don't work to get there, then you, we don't put you up on the ladder that you can fall down. But we thank God that he lived according to the word of God. Amen. We know that because he's, he came up right in the church with us. Amen. And I can speak highly for him because I see a great change in his life. Amen. Amen. And I, I'm, I'm just so proud to introduce him today. Amen. He's my oldest son. Amen. One that loved the Lord. One was brought up in the church, taught how to love the Lord. Amen. And I just thank God. Amen. A lot of people talk about the degrees and things, but as long as you have that born again degree. Amen. That's what I'm looking at. Because you can't tell other people how to live safe and you don't live it yourself. Amen. 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 But I thank God, amen, that, amen, he's a living witness. Amen. I introduce the son, present to others, none other than Desmond Lovett Singer. Let's say amen. Amen. As amen. 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 Key passage, Romans 11, chapter 33, verse. 
many supporting scriptures of Micah 5 and 21, Matthew 1, 20 through 21, Luke 1, 26 through 38, Luke 2, 1 through 20, John 1 and 29, John 6 and 35, John 6 and 51. Just a few of the supporting scriptures to if you want to ever look up anything that we're talking about because all of it relates Amen. to the subject that we're talking about on this beautiful day that Christ, that we celebrate when Christ was born. Amen. Amen. Nowhere in God's wisdom was more apparent in his plan of redemption. When we need confidence in God's plans for us, considering his perfect work, give us peace. Dr. Stanley spoke once on events through the events of Christmas story, where scripture affirms that every detail of the Messiah's arrival was wisely and meticulously fulfilled by God. Amen. Knowing that God is guiding our lives and choosing what's best for us Amen. is a great source of comfort and peace. Yes. Amen. He will always bring about the best outcome at the right time uh -huh. and in the appropriate way in order to achieve his purpose. God all encompassing wisdom in our lives is emphasized by Romans 8 and 28. Yes. And we know that God causes all things to work together for the good of those who love God. Yes. To Amen. those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. Amen. We stress his that's and many right. Many times we get caught up on our Look out purpose now. and not his purpose. Oh yes. That is a key component to that whole verse. Amen. Yes. From Genesis to Revelation, God's wisdom is on display. Yes. But Romans eleven thirty three sums it up by saying, "Oh, the depth of the riches, both of wisdom and knowledge, yes. of God! How unsearchable are His judgments and unfathomable His ways." Yes. Nowhere is God's wisdom more apparent than in his plan of redemption. Yes. In eternity, eternity past, his plan, a way for sinful humankind to be saved. Yes. To appreciate God's unfathomable ways, we need to look no further than the events of the Christmas story. My when God. his son Jesus came to earth. Yes. But when the, when the fullness of the time came, Yes. God sent his son, yes, he did. born of a woman, born under the law, so that he might redeem those who were under the law. My God. That we might receive the adoption as sons and daughters. Uh -huh. You can find that in Galatians 4, 4 through 5. My Lord. Throughout the histories, empires have risen and fallen. Oh, yes. Each of them has their own unique achievements and contributions to civilization. The Egyptians, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Persians, the Greeks. But the Lord chose the time of the Roman Empire My for God. the coming of his son. Yes. This was a predetermined time. Mm -hmm. And all the events came to pass just as he had planned. Uh -huh. My God. Jesus Christ's life didn't begin on the day of his birth. The Son of God existed forever. But in the incarnation occurred. His deity joined the human flesh. Amen. Some were looking for the Messiah's arrival, but many were not. And they were certainly not expecting him to come as a baby. Many were awaiting a strong military leader who would set them free from the Roman domination. My God. Hundreds of years before Micah prophesied God's choice for the location of the Messiah's birth. But as for you, Bethlehem, Ephraim, too little to be among the clans of Judah. From you, one will come forth for me to be ruler in Israel. His times, his times of coming forth are from long ago, from the days of eternity. That's Micah 5 and 2. <clears throat> God didn't choose an impressive city as a setting for his son's birth, but a town of little to no significance. The name Bethlehem means house of bread, which is an appropriate birthplace of the one who said, I am the bread of life. Amen. It's John 6 and 35. 
The fact that Mary and Joseph were Nazareth was no hindrance to God's plan. He ordained that Caesar Augustus would take a census requiring everyone to register at their place of, of their origin. Mary and Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem because they were descendants of David. And that is found in Luke, second chapter, verses one through seven. The leaders may have thought they were in charge, but they were merely used by the Lord to fulfill his plan. Amen. That the Messiah was to be born in Bethlehem, the city of David. Amen. Amen. Great events are usually announced by important dignitaries. And to authenticate the message of the Messiah's birth, God sent the holy angel from heaven. But instead of proclaiming the birth to the multitudes, he sent the group, he sent the angel to a group of shepherds okay. in a field. Yes. You can read that in Luke second chapter verses eight through twenty. Uh -huh. By doing so, God identified his son with these humble men, because Jesus would become the good shepherd who leads his people to salvation. Amen. In response, the shepherds hurried to where Jesus lay. Oh yeah. And then made known to everyone they knew what the angel had said and how they have seen the newborn Savior. Yes. God's wisdom is on full display in Jesus' incarnation. His birth was that of a normal baby, but his conception was miraculous because he was conceived by the Holy Spirit in the womb of a virgin. Yes. Amen. It's found in Luke first chapter, 26 through 35th verses. The eternal Son of God, who has no beginning and no end, became a human baby without surrendering, surrendering his deity. To be the Savior, he had to arrive the perfection of God. Amen. But he also needed to be human in order to identify with humankind yes. and die Amen. for their sin. Oh, yes. The incarnation was the only way to accomplish it. God's plan for redemption. We also see God's wisdom in the surrounding of Christ's birth. He was born in a place or even, he wasn't born in a palace or even an inn because he was the Lamb of God who would take away the sins of the world. John 1 and 29. It was fitting for him to be born in a place used by cattle and sheep. He, he came into the world without riches and preeminence because God's ways are not like ours. The major scene is a proclamation that God, the Son, came in humility to be our Savior. The name of Jesus was very common, it wasn't very common in that day. In Hebrew, it's Joshua, which means, Jeho which means Jehovah, Deliverer. And that exactly what the Messiah was. God told Joseph to name the child Jesus because he would save his people from their sins. Amen. Matthew 1, 20 and 21. It's the name above every name yeah, and the yes. only one by which we can be saved. Yeah. One day at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow in mm -hmm. heaven and on earth. Yes, Lord. That's Philippians 2. <clears throat> 9 through 11. The Lord's wisdom is expressed in the purpose for which he sent his son for our redemption. The baby in the manger was born to be the Lamb of God who came to give his life as a ransom for every for many. Matthew 20 and 28. Mankind could never be good enough to reconcile with God because everyone is born with a sin nature. Jesus alone was qualified to bear God's wrath for all our sins. Amen. So we could be forgiven. Oh, yes. There was no other way. Every detail of every plan of redemption was wisely and meticulously fulfilled by our Heavenly Father. Amen. Oh, yes. Does seeing God's wisdom in the events of Christmas bring you comfort? Is a question that many of us should just ask ourselves. Or maybe, what does it say about his care and our wisdom in directing your life? Or what have you learned from this Christmas story about God's unfathomable wisdom and ways? 
Are you willing to follow where he leads, even when it doesn't make sense to you? I pray his blessings and mercy upon each and every one of you and find your way to the good shepherd and that you follow his instructions to the point because the good shepherd only wants what's best for his sheep because he loves all his sheep. Amen. That's me and you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. 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 Oh, you must be born again. Oh, you must be born again. Oh, your sins forgiven and your soul set free. And you must be born again. Saints, you must be born again. Oh, you must be born